All right, we are off. This is the Oracle of Ages weekly randomizer race. Today we're playing on normal mode, randomized dungeons, cross items are enabled, and joining me in the race is Lotus. Good luck and have fun. Starting off with a punching glove. We got Ricky's glove to start with. That's actually rather interesting. Depending on what we get here. We get a harp. Okay. Hmm. I think, yeah. I think we just go straight into the past. Ricky's glove really only lets you get to Tangle, I think. Does it let you... Does it let you get the beach item? I don't think it does. I, th I don't think Ricky will go down there. But it will let me get to the beach. Just by using Ricky. I mean, we'll end up going that way most likely on a warp to start. So I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Let's follow this path, see what we get. If we get a bracelet, go to Deku Forest. We get Moosh's flute! Okay! <laughs> okay! Sorry, Ricky. <laughs> We're going to be using Moosh instead. Because we can actually use Moosh's flute as a way of uh, getting the beach item. And look at that! Tune of Currents! Lovely Tune of Currents. The gloves are still... yeah, they're useless. We got Tune of Currents already. I was gonna say they're not technically useless, because we can still use them to get to Tangle, but with Tune of Currents we have Tangle access, so we're... yeah, they're useless. Once again... And a Switch Hook! Okay. Don't really have access to much other than going up here. Okay, scent seeds are there as default. We got 50 groups, okay. That could be for a shield, potentially. I went one too high. Like, I could see 50 groups for shield. For D2 access. Thank you. 
Otherwise, I do have access back. Ooh, that's interesting. So I have return access uh, to get Fairy's Woods. So if I don't get anything here, I go back that way, I think. It's one of those, like, checks that... <laughs> you really don't ever see this route. Like, having to go up into... Like Ambie's courtyard. Go to the present and then go backwards. Like you get it once in a while, but not all the time. Long switch! Okay. That's making me think of Mayor's house. But yeah, I'm going to go back that way first. Just because I still don't have a good exit strategy. Other than just warp to start. So I'll take Moosh and go for a walk. I might as well just stay on top of Moosh, because I need to jump over the, the the pit, and I could either get good RNG, or I could just use Moosh, and Moosh will make it so much easier. 30 roops, okay. So 30 roops, 50 roops. Shop is looking spicy. Goronade. I think they're roughly the same in terms of walking speed, uh, but Moosh flying ends up being faster over the stairs than walking down the stairs. Alright, I'm going to buy shield because we're going to check D2. And with those rupees, that makes me think we're probably going to want uh, vanilla D2 access. I think entering D2 will be the last thing I do. Just in case I find something that helps me out here. Like if I find a feather, if I find sword, I mean, we could do without sword. Feather will let us beat D2 if, we, if that is the dungeon we find. Grab a heart, and let's go into the dungeon. It's D1. Okay.
So D1's not a bad dungeon to find. Okay, is it embers? It is embers. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so we can almost beat this dungeon. We just need a weapon. We just need a damage source in order to fight Pumpkinhead. Because unfortunately the switch hook does not work uh, in damaging Pumpkinhead. It'll damage everything else in the dungeon, but just not the boss. Feather! And another key. There's the boss key. Compass. Alright, that's key three. So there's something here. Could be map. It could be um, an item. It's map. Okay. So one more done. Uh, one more check in here. And then I'll probably do mini boss just to get that set up for later because when we come back we're just doing boss and leaving unless we get a damage source here that allows us to fight the mini boss or fight the boss it's just a heart okay so yeah we'll do mini boss and then leave Good fight. Uh, there was one more check that I can grab uh, that I totally forgot to grab on my way in. Which is going to be West Cave. Satchel upgrade? Okay. Already at satchel upgrade. That's a thing. Yo, what's up, Fleek? What's up, level zero badger? So I can't really do much in the grave. I can see one item, I can get the other. Big group! Okay. Big group! Trying to think of where I want to go now. 
Rolling Ridge is kinda calling to me. I can't get too far without Pegasus Seeds. We can get access to Pegasus Seeds. Okay, that's just a garbage Gasha Seed. And that's a sword! Perfect! Perfect! Uh, yeah, let's just warp to start. And let's go on the hunt for some Pegasus Seeds. Because once I have Pegasus Seeds, we have access to the entirety of, uh, of Rolling Ridge. And I know that they're in Symmetry City, so I'm just going to go there, we're going to grab them, and then we're going to just roll it straight into Rolling Ridge. Yeah, these games are amazing. Oh! I I forgot to go into Neighbor's house to set up a warp point there. It's fine. We have Pegasus Seas now. We can go fast. Yeah, a remake would be really nice. Uh, even just, like, a new game in the style of a 2D Zelda would be really nice. I am interested in seeing how Tears of the Kingdom is going to be. Like, I'm sure it's going to be a good game. But I, I really hope it doesn't turn into, like, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts type of thing. Bomb Flower? So I can actually turn that bomb flower in right away. Noble sword. Okay. We're getting some stuff. We are getting some stuff. Yeah, I like the idea of the world is there, and you just kind of unlock different pathways through it as you get items. Versus just getting everything at the start and just exploring. Rope! Okay. Yeah, the Zelda method of getting an item in a dungeon 
You use that item through the dungeon. Use it to beat the boss. You use that to unlock the next dungeon. Was a good method. Ooh, I like that. But at the same time, the like true open world concept is still a valid concept. It just puts the focus on exploration rather than progression. Yeah, some of the shrines in Breath of the Wild are really cool. Some of them are very lackluster. And a lot of them are just in the middle of the road. Just like there. You kind of make your way through and forget about it once you're done. But meanwhile, like the Zelda dungeons, like a lot of the older dungeons, you're going to remember those dungeons for years to come. Like there's nothing... You're going to remember Jabu Jabu's belly. You're going to remember the Water Temple. You're going to remember, like, all these dungeons. But all the shrines in this game, or in Breath of the Wild, I forget about them five seconds after I leave them. Yeah, and there's definitely, like, a sense of, ooh, there's this shiny thing, there's this heart piece that I can't get right now. How do I get it? What item am I going to need in order to get it? What items am I going to find later in the game? Ooh, this is really interesting. And then you have Breath of the Wild where, okay, here's all your abilities for the entire game in the first 30 minutes. Now just play the game. Have fun. I mean, it is cool, like discovering where certain shrines are, or like doing some of the shrine quests. But then you have, like, some of the shrine quests, like, mm -hmm. don't step on the flowers. It's like, really? Like, that's a quest? <laughs> but some of them are actually really interesting. What am I doing? I'm just kind of going through here. Uh, we're going to get bombs. That's that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm guaranteeing myself some bombs. Mm -hmm. 
old mermaid key. Okay. So that's our next dungeon access. Yeah, I think they learned a lot from the feedback from Breath of the Wild. Because a lot of people were disappointed by the lack of true puzzle elements outside of, like, shrines. Like, mini-puzzles. And even the Divine Beasts, like, they didn't really feel very rewarding, right? Like, you just kind of go there. The entire thing is pretty empty. And then you fight a boss and leave. Like, okay. That was a dungeon? Question mark? And yeah, the, the small inventory with breaking weapons, also a big negative. Like, having to constantly swap your weapons around just because they keep breaking and you can only carry so many at a time wasn't the greatest. And then, yeah, a hundred million Koroks that... You only needed half of them in order to max out your inventory. And then after that, you just get like a little statue in your inventory if you get them all. It's kind of uh, a waste of time. Yeah, only 450 out of a possible 900. Oh, the other key. Cool. I still can't access that one uh, because we don't have... I guess I can technically access it. I was going to say because we don't have the flippers, but we can technically do a Pegasus jump in there. And then we can just Gale Seed away on the way out. Or warp to start. In fact, warp to start is probably the preferred method to get out of there. Yeah, there's still a bunch that I haven't done. Um, I'm, I've been slowly working through the game over the past couple weeks. I have, I think, 80 shrines done, and I have, I was, ju I'm just about to start the last divine beast. I, well, Vondaboris is the last one I have to do. And then, yeah, I haven't done... I haven't touched the Master Sword Trials yet. I'm probably not gonna do all the Koroks. Mm -hmm. I feel mm -hmm. like it's not worth it. See if I remember the exact amount that I need to do. I think it's three of these. It's 40 points. Yeah, it's gonna be three. Three of these and then the angel. Oh no, that's 190. So it's four of these. 
There we go. Here we go, we got some bombs. That's probably gonna help me out a lot, <laughs> to be honest. Getting those bombs. Yeah, it's definitely not worth doing all of those Koroks for little to no reward. Did I save? I don't think I did. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm just excited to have some new content, some new Zelda to play. Alright, I'll keep the heart container, either way. It's at least decent enough. Uh, yeah, let's go... Let's go present first. Because I think what's going to end up happening is I'm going to just warp to start after doing past. Ooh, okay. That is a spicy thing. I'm going to just do the whiz rope chest. Because I can't do anything else over here. Did I? I did kill him. Okay. This is actually really interesting, because we might have access to present. If we have access to present uh, D6 here, I want to open up the wall. Oh! We got a raft seed. We have a raft seed. Okay. So we're going rafting. That's a double candle. Both of the candles were sitting right on top of each other. Yeah, I would love to see some of those seldom-used items come back and, like, give them bigger uses. Like, give them more use. Like, magnet gloves are, can have a, a really good potential. Kane Apache, I mean... Minish Cap 
Like, just look at a lot of the things you can do with it, with the uh, Cane Apache. And you, I'm sure there's even more things you could possibly do. And yeah, the spinner. The spinner in Twilight Princess is one of those items you just kind of... You know what? I have to go this side, I think. If I remember right. If I remember correctly, uh, the way this works, you want to be on this side. There we go. Oh, lovely. Never mind. We can't go in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a thing. Actually, no, we, we don't need to go that way. Oh no, I, I didn't even think about that. I would say probably not allow it. Because we generally do not use any glitches. But we didn't actually discuss it ahead of time. So I guess you probably would rather jump from the left side? I always thought the right side was the one you wanted to jump from, but I guess it's the left. Because right side you fall into it. plan just in case it's mysteries because we still do not have mysteries. No, it's embers. Okay. So mysteries are Zora. Now we can access that dungeon. <laughs> I mean, we're going to be able to do a lot of things uh, once we have flippers, mermaid suit. So I've got one key? Question mark? I know I got a key. I think it was, yeah, I only got one.
Oh no! <laughs> So Lotus got soft locked. I'm wondering if he tried the same exact thing that I did. But was probably lower on health and ran out of health before being able to warp the start. Yeah, he did the exact same thing. So I just told him to warp to start. So hopefully that works for him. So D2. Oh wait, no, this is... <laughs> I clicked the wrong one. There's D2. Bomb drop. Yeah, hey, what's up, Kuno? Things are going pretty well so far. Aside from a almost soft lock. <laughs> Thanks to uh, infinite drowning. But we were able to escape thanks to warp to start. Yo, hey, what's up, Christo? Thanks for the good luck. Uh, it's key five, okay. I was like, I don't remember if that was a small or a big key. to get that pretty early so we don't have to worry about finding it later on because that's one of those items that can just about be anywhere in fact we have both upgrades already that's really good like both of the item upgrades we still need mermaid suit ring okay oh yeah probably cave for d4 that is 
most likely a thing. So unfortunately, I do have to do the puzzle, because we have all keys, and uh, there's still items. Compass is still out there, um, but there is definitely still two items. But at least shout outs to the power glove for making this a little bit faster. Just a fraction, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> the cape! Alright. <laughs> so now we have basically all upgrades except for mermaid suit. Go, dude. So having the cape means we can do D four. Whenever we find D4, we can actually, like, get to the me boss and whatnot. Yeah, no seed shooting items yet. There's Tune of Ages. This was a loaded D2. That was very solid. Um, you know what? Let's go back and finish one. Let's go back and finish one. We'll check out the other entrance over there. We still don't have mysteries. I guess let's do the dungeon first. Speak of D4, and it shall appear. So we're probably going to do, like, part of it. 
We can do like the back half. Or we can beat it. <laughs> yeah, we can beat this dungeon. I just can't do the front half. If I get lucky, maybe we'll find both items back here. There's one. This could be like a super lucky uh, D4 situation. Yeah, thanks to cross items, D4 is a lot nicer. I think mostly because it generally now requires the cape. So you don't run into those situations where you have to worry about seed shooter or um, slingshot or the... Uh, boomerang to try and make your way through the front half. Instead, just go to the back. Just go to the back and finish the dungeon. Come back later if you need to. Yeah, it's still a very linear dungeon, uh, but you're able to cut half of it out. So that helps a lot. Alright, key two. I'm gonna go boss first, uh, just on the chance that we're looking at a item there. Because if item on boss, then we're out. If item in back, then we're out, but we do have to do the back item first. It's faster to do it this way. Especially since it takes two hits. Item, we're out. Perfect. The perfect D4. If only it gave me an actual item, like a good item that we needed. But I will gladly take that situation without a doubt. Now let's just go finish up D1. This will be a very quick D1.
And now I actually have to think. Oh, now let's go and enter, um... Enter that dungeon that we couldn't enter earlier. Because now that we have Pegasus Seeds, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about grabbing Pegasus Seeds, but now that we have Flippers, we can actually enter this dungeon. It's the Duplicate 4. Lovely. There's Mermaid Suit! Okay, all upgrades acquired. Yeah, now that we have Mermaid Seeds... Now we're gonna go to Zora. Like, that's pretty obvious at this point. And a Slingshot! Cool. We got a thingy. A thingy that shoots seeds. I could actually go back and finish six if I wanted to. Or attempt to. That is present. Well, this gives me more things, so let's go this way first. Tootie Nut, okay. More access. We're just kind of flying through this seed, aren't we? I feel like all we had to do was just learn how to swim. Once we learned how to swim, this seed has gone swimmingly. I was waiting for someone to say something. <laughs> oh, wait a second. We can't go into this dungeon yet. Because we don't have a... Potion. Yeah, we don't have a potion yet. So I think we just go in here, grab the item. I can at least clean the seeds. Like, that will be the main thing here. And then we go to D6. Or... Or... We follow the Toonie Knot. Hmm. I could follow the Toonie Knot.
I mean, either way, we want to head to a dungeon. It's either a new dungeon or one that may be completable. Yeah, I'm going to go check out six first. Just in case we run into pa uh, present six. Because the way I see it, we want to check and see if... Uh, boss key is in past or present. Because if boss key's in the past, we can just beat it right now. Boomerang! If not, then, uh... We're gonna have to find the present at some point, and we can just go right in there. Compass! Oh yeah, we get to do the thing here. There's a, like, weird jump you can do here with the cape. Never actually had to do it. Maybe with Pegasus Seeds it'll be a lot easier, probably. Yeah. Oh, much easier. Alright, so we should be able to beat the dungeon. Yeah, there's nothing really stopping me at this point. I have to get one key back here. Oh, the only thing that could stop me is Bosky, right? We haven't found Bosky. It's here. It's here. So we can beat the dungeon. That's really good.
Yeah, so we are going to beat this dungeon. Imagine how strong those arrow shooters are to fire that fast and hurt you underwater. Yeah, those things must be like... Torpedoes, right? Uh, you know what? I can't actually do anything with that. Because I don't have a seed shooter to bounce him. Ring? Okay, not a good ring. But we got a completed dungeon. And now... We're heading to another dungeon. Oh, I am kind of curious about that Goronade. I'm not going to worry about it yet. But it's something to think about. Something to think about after we finish this dungeon here. Whether we find progression or not. Maybe trying to save scum that coronade. Oh, Hyper. Hi, Hyper. The reason I say save scum is because we want to uh, not have to worry about the rupees. Unless I find more rupees along the way. If I find a hundred rupees somewhere, then it's fine. What do we have here? D3! Okay. This should be a doable dungeon. Uh, the only thing that can prevent us from finishing is possible um, shovel lock. But otherwise, everything here is doable. I think. Wait. Uh, the Ember Torch. Oh, we have a Hyper Slingshot. I think Hyper Slingshot can do the Ember Torch. Possibly. Alright, there's 200 rupees. That guarantees access to the Goronade. So 
so I think if we don't find anything here, we're, we're just gonna buy that Goronade and go there. Zora Scale. Another potential target. So we at least have access to everything here. Alright, there's a map. And a small key. Okay, perfect. So getting that second small key is absolutely gigantic. Because that allows me to go back here. And check both items back here without any consequence. Rock brisket. Gonna have to hold on to that. Because I don't know if that's gonna be required or not. Well, that is required, so... <laughs> yeah. Looking like we're going to have to uh, figure this out. Oh yeah, that, that definitely works. Perfect. That's a graveyard key. So we're shovel locked out of here. But we got access to a new dungeon. Hold on. Let's see. Before I go there. Thank <laughs> you. 
is rock brisket or gourmet cannibalism? No, I think that is just stuff that they normally eat. Like, it's made of rock. It's not made of Goron. Okay, D7. We can do this. And you know what? We haven't seen present D6 yet. So there's a very real possibility that if, if we find the next dungeon, we're just in go mode. Oh no, we need shovel. We need shovel, guaranteed. Never mind. What am I talking about? Compass. So yeah, after this, uh, then we take the potion over to to Zora, and we'll go into Jabu. Into the actual belly of Jabu, as opposed to the dungeon Jabu. And that's going to work out really well because then we get the Zora reward as we go into the dungeon. here. So I am just going to do a quick check. Just to see if there's it, like a key in the back. Doesn't look that way. Alright, that is a key.
So I'm gonna go right back and try and save Scum the hallway. Does either A, this is a required item, and we have to go this way no matter what, or B, it's nothing and I'm just wasting my time. But at least I'm checking. It's nothing, and I'm just wasting my time. Key? Not a key. Key. Hmm. Intriguing. Either A, that key on pop is boss key or we're key locked wait I got boss key didn't I I got boss key as like one of the first checks yeah yeah so we're key locked yeah The bottom floor just has one item. Which I will grab after doing the boss. Oh, there's even a key here. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I love how, like, yeah, I have every item in the game, but I still need a shovel. Still need a shovel in order to save the world. Yeah, I have all these items. Oh, uh, no, we're, we're gonna go this way. Because we're gonna lower the water. Yeah, we could really use the tool store. It's where you get your shovel, your rope. Um, what other stuff would be in the tool store? Your your power gloves. It's just a ring, so we are out of here.
What am I going to get? What dungeon do you think is going to be here? I have this weird feeling it's going to be six present. Heart container! Nice. And a vase. <laughs> With shovel on fire. <laughs> yeah, probably, right? Oh, it's the eighth. Okay. I can work with that. I can actually work with that. So after this, only one dungeon remaining. It's kind of bizarre to think about. Like, D5 is probably going to be a go mode dungeon. Yeah, I think the Carpenters would probably have the tools. That would make sense. Either that or they have the tool shop near the Black Tower where they're building. Slate number one. There's the eyeball. We could be in pseudo go mode right now. If D5 is up on a Sea of No Return, we're in go mode. Oh, no. Shovel. I keep forgetting about the shovel. Yeah, either D5 is vanilla, or it's on Sea of No Return. Yeah, Shovel is literally, like, the second item in the game. You get a sword first, and then you go to Black Tower and you get a Shovel.
Supreme Harem King gifted a tier 1 sub to randomize a god. They are given 3 gift subs in the channel. Yo, Supreme with the gift sub. Appreciate it. Found my alt. <laughs> Randomizer god. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> But the shovel is in the past, so it's the first item. You know what? If you think about it that way, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense like that. So yeah, shovel is the first item in the timeline. Don't think about anything at all. It's another way to do it. Am I still sitting at one slate? I think I am. Oh! Hi! <laughs> I was not expecting to do that. Like, I forgot to turn, so I was just waiting for the, the clink so I could turn and, and uh, actually grab the pot. So we do not have a key, so we got to go this way. That's slate three, by the way. have a thought. We probably just clean out this side. Oh, magic boomerang. We probably clean out this side. Oh, I didn't even mark the regular boomerang. And then... Head to see of no return. And see what dungeon's up there. I, I, no, I should probably just full clear here. Either way. Because shovel. Are the monthly Minish Cap Acings supposed to work? Last ones are from March. Uh, I think Myth is supposed to be updating them, <laughs> but I'm not sure if he ever got the automation working. He just made a couple manual seeds 
for the first month and was going to continue working on it. So I'm not sure what the status of that is. I'm guessing it was never finished or updated because we never got seeds. Oh, they're, they're sitting in the Discord. Yeah, if you check the Minish Cap Discord, you'll be able to to see the asyncs. You know what? Let's fill up on seeds because we're probably going to see them no return after this. Okay. Last slate. That means we go beat the dungeon now. Oh, you did an all kinstones rando? Yeah, I still haven't gotten around to doing that. It's on the list. We'll try it eventually, but... We've been doing... A lot of other things. So I haven't exactly had the... Time to think about doing an all kinstone rando. The spot that Link holds the slingshot makes that a lot harder than if you have the seed shooter. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to it. A oh, lava juice. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm liking the new randomizer. Uh, the only thing is the warp to start. Not a huge fan of that. But, it does help out a little bit, especially in this seed. <laughs> it helped out in this seed, so I can't complain. Ooh, wait, I never did the toke over here.
Imagine if this guy stole my shovel. Yeah, once you get used to having uh, both past and present D2 as a thing, then uh, it's not too bad. In fact, it, it helps out a little bit because you get an extra dungeon check. Though... It's good and bad, because it means there's another possible spot for present D6 to show up. Yeah, D4 is a lot different now, especially since you can basically break it wide open with the cape. There's D5. We have shovel mode. We are in shovel mode. So as soon as I find a shovel, we're in go mode. There we go. Big rupee. I would love it if this is key locked too. That would really help down, uh, cut down on the amount of time we have to look through things. Immediate Bosky, let's go. Still no small keys, which is perfect. Yeah, Fool's Or just melts enemies. Even melts the final boss. Not a key? I think... I think we're probably key locked here. Uh... Yeah, there's one, one check. One check. If that's a key, then we can get one more item.
but otherwise, we gotta look somewhere for a shovel. And I'm really thinking about those Goron items. Alright, so that's a small key. Come back in here and get one last thing. Actually, you know what? I might want to do the mini boss anyway. Because if that is a key, then mini boss item is going to be the item. Or the other way around, and then the item ends up being on this other check. Yeah, Link uses a... A shovel as a shield, but he can't use a shield as a shovel. Oh, that's a key. So that is not what we're looking for. So maybe I have to go this way. This is the only check that's actually in logic. I think you can make that jump, probably. If you just do it from the right spot. You still need the cane in order to get up here, but it's interesting. Okay, that's the key. All right. So there's nothing else we can do here. Cool. Uh, now... Now I'm thinking Goron stuff? So we have Goron Aid, we have the Lava Juice. Hopefully we find the shovel over here. That's a ring. Yeah, we're in shovel mode. Hmm. 
Because D3 boss key was all the way on the Seed Shooter chest. So, we need to get another key in order to beat the dungeon. And that key is going to be on right side. Or at least through the mini boss somewhere. Well, I guess we technically don't need to go to get another key. We just need to go through the mini boss. Alright, that was a good ring, red ring. Uh, Ambies. Let's see if Ambi is hoarding our uh, tools. Oh, that's just a rupee. But she could still have it over here. Could be on the fight, could be on the make a tree. And actually, I have to go this way either way. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because I have to save the make a tree in order to beat the game. And I guess, in theory, Seed Shooter might be required, but we don't need to. The Rod of Seasons! <laughs> Getting even more things that we're not looking for. Gotta keep going. Yeah, I really like this very powerful rod that can control the seasons, but just give me a shovel. I would much prefer a shovel right about now. Thank you very much. Library key! Off to the library!
We're just gonna be going down the rabbit hole, right? Just constantly following whatever we find until we run out of things to do, and then we find something else to do instead. Magniklov! <laughs> I'm not even gonna waste my time grabbing that. There it is! We got the shovel! Yeah, the shovel is one of the greatest fictional books of all time. Yeah, I don't even have to, like, do anything. I just go hit this guy with a rock a couple times, and then fight a boss that scared of me. Oh no, no. We need to actually drop seeds, unfortunately. We needed the shovel to dig one hole. That is all. <laughs> but if you think about it, it's construction in a nutshell. You need this very expensive tool in order to do one job, and then you're never going to need it again. And there we go. Right as we hit the two hour mark, we get our eighth essence. This is a pretty quick seed. In fact, this could have been probably a sub two seed if if things worked out with the shovel. Like if we didn't need the shovel for D3, this probably would have been sub two. We got pretty good luck in terms of dungeons. I guess the only thing was uh, we had to go searching uh, for D5. But D5 was uh, key locked. D4 we only had to do the back. D6, boss key was in the past. D7 was key locked.
we never found present D6. We theoretically could have even done, uh, you know what? Did we ever find logical bombs? <laughs> I don't remember, because we got bombs from Goron Shooting Gallery, and then I just kind of did stuff. I don't remember actually running into bombs that... I actually don't even remember running into bombs, period. I think there's probably like two options for where bombs would be. Um, I think either under Crescent Island or the Mystery Sea turn in. I don't know. Like, those are the only things that I can think of that I explicitly did not do. The one where it takes, like, like two hours to dig a hole. <laughs> one single hole. <laughs> oh yeah, I have Red Ring, but I have no reason to put it on. Like, there's literally zero reason for me to put the red ring on, because I'm just gonna use Fool's War. Yeah, I definitely forgot my safety equipment. That's why I almost drowned. I, I forgot to bring my flippers with me. And there we go! We finish in first place with... An official time of 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 0 seconds. Not a bad time at all. Like, after that but almost soft lock, um, things really picked up speed pretty quickly. And then I think if we just had a better boss key location in D3, this was easily sub 2. Like, if we didn't have to look for the shovel at all. I guess I could have um, gone to the lower floor first, opened that door, maybe the mini moldorms would have gotten me another key.
that's the only other way I could have potentially avoided the shovel. Like, instead of going to the Sea Shooter chest and get the boss key, I could have gone down into the lower floor, gone up through Bridge Room, and gotten the Mini Moldorm check. If that was a small key, then we were fine. We would have just got gone back up, got boss key, and finished the dungeon. Or we would have finished the dungeon. Yeah, we need a boss key to finish the dungeon. So we would have gone back up, gotten boss key, finished the dungeon. And never, never needed shovel. I mean, there would have been a point where we probably would have been like, maybe shovels required? Maybe not? Not until we actually got the eyeball, went up to D5, and confirm that we found all the dungeons, would that have been checked off? But yeah, that's a really interesting routing decision. Do you take the boss key where you know there's no chance of you finishing the dungeon at that point? Or do you risk going back like to another route to hopefully find another key so that you can potentially avoid the shovel? Well, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the race. Uh, certainly was a good seed overall. Just that shovel at the end really killed a lot of potential for sub two. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later.